When I was in Athens, Ohio uh, in undergrad, I was uh, downtown standing in front of the courthouse and I was stopped at this, this crosswalk. I remember, you know, waiting for the traffic to stop and I looked over my left shoulder and I saw this, this line of men in orange jumpsuits shackled together being led up the stairs uh, and into the door. And I just stood there in awe thinking I had never seen a criminal before. I had never seen a man who had done something wrong uh, and, and had been convicted and had been caught. And even from 50 yards away, I remember feeling almost in danger. Uh, like, like I couldn't be protected being in, in such close proximity of, of a hardened criminal. And so by the time that I was in divinity school and I was taking this class with Project Turn in a prison, I already had the story that I needed uh, to tell me about the men that I was going to meet in the prison. I had been an intern at the, the federal prison in Butner, North Carolina for a summer. You know, I'd watched Law and Order. I'd been through the volunteer training. I knew the story that told me that the justice system was right and good and trustworthy and that every single individual in prison or in jail was a person that I could not trust and that ultimately I could never, ever, ever be friends with, that I could have a relationship with. And so here I am in this class, in a room with these men, taking a class together called Spiritual Autobiography, a class where not only do we learn uh, how, to, how to read and how to write and how to tell stories, but we learn the importance, the power in telling our stories, why we should tell our stories. And so I sit in this room and I take a class with these men in prison and I begin to hear their stories and I begin to see their faces and I begin to learn their names. Suddenly I am sort of bombarded with with this new story. A story that isn't um, this person is a hardened criminal, this person cannot be trusted. But it's a story of a human being. It's a story of a man who's sitting in front of me, telling me how he ended up in prison. The gift of Project Turn, the gift of this class, was that I could no longer give people in prison their story. Instead, I had to learn how to receive their story, let them tell me their story. What Project Turn did for me was it taught me that if I'm going to ever enter a prison, if I'm going to ever interact with someone who has been to prison or someone who's got a family member or a friend in prison, that ultimately I have to assume that those people are human beings, that they are my brothers, they are my sisters, that they are not criminals, they are not the sum total of the worst mistake that they have ever made. And that's what I received from Project Turn.